over it. Right, hello. So, my name's Jay. So, this is our latest project, the ETS for the Chorus Rally. So, these are some Rally Signaling Company S type instruments. So, they are working very much like they would have historically with bell key operation and two bells on the box shelf there. So, slight difference to this is underneath here, which Ryder is currently wiring up, and I'll show you in a bit, <laughs> is our new remote operator. It works on the same principle as the teleclean remote operator, where effectively the station is closed, you arrive, you open the station, uh, which then allows you to either press, hold, let go, get a green light, take a token, bring a token up your throat, and all this, from, remotely from the other end. Hmm. Later on, when we get it set up, <laughs> we're currently in the process of putting it together, we'll show you how it operates. The other ability of this, if both ends are open, you'll be able to operate it historically how it used to with bell key operation. So effectively you can ding bell code to the other end. Between two operators, yeah. Between two operators, and then effectively hold to give a release to the other end. Again, with light indicators to that. I okay. do like the light indicators, they are nice. Yeah, it was a, it was a suggestion from Samuel of what can we do, because we had the original galvos that came on the machine. However, well, they tell you when a staff is coming out, not if the section is clear or locked. Yeah. And the idea was have a, a, a light on the block shelf and like put it on the machine. <laughs> I then, did, I then so, um, came up with the idea of 3D printing a new galvo plate. So this bit here is 3D printed by designed to go in there and then you hold two LEDs. Mm. And effectively, later on I'll show you, they're effectively wired up. So effectively when the line is clear you get green, or when the clarity swaps you get red. So that the LED depends on which way around. Yeah. Because these, when you take a token out, flips clarity. In phase, out phase, yeah. In phase, out phase, and that's what the LEDs monitor. Oh, that was quite nice. We did consider putting in a white, a normal incandescent white light bulb just for the Galvo, just to see where there's power on the line. And then we worked out, hang on, the LEDs do that for you anyway. <laughs> One of them will be lit up to show power on the line, Ricard. Yeah, exactly. So we just went to the more traffic light looking. <laughs> yeah. But it looks, it works very well. Yes, yeah, it works very well. well. It was a phase where we did have it sort of side on, but it, it didn't look it as didn't nice. It didn't look right. So, but no, yeah, later on I'll show you when it works. Thank so, you. Yeah. So looking in here, it's a bit hard to see, there's not a lot of space, but effectively normal, standard S-type lock. Only difference is we've got two LEDs here, which are for indicator, which are effectively wired down here through the plug board. So if I open this up, you should be able to see. So it's all wired up through here. And effectively, as the line polarity comes up, if it's, if it's happy and it's plus or minus, you get green. When the polarity switch slips over, you get the red. Hmm. Very simple mechanism. And over here, hidden over here, <laughs> is a resistor, which effectively is replacing the Galvo coil. Yeah. So a little level of... So you don't need the Galvo. Exactly. Yeah, and then effectively here, if you look here, you'll see the contact. Yes, just inside. Which activates the bell key. Very simple. Very much how they would have been wired originally. Hmm. Haven't really changed anything drastically. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if you want to see down here. I'm going to grab the torch. Ah, you realise. Effectively. Here is a remote operator. So effectively, read it A, B, and C. At the top here, we've got the three capacitors, yep. which is what gives us the about nine to 10 second release. So effectively, when A picks, charge up the capacitors, which then holds P. Yep. We can reduce or increase those depending on how long. Testing, it seems to be quite long. <laughs> yeah, 10 seconds usually, isn't it? Yeah, and then all the links, and then the two batteries that power the system. And that's basically it. It's really quite simple. Right, so you're in auto. Yes. Right. Get a so, um, yeah, in theory, I'll go for it. Go for it. Help! Oh, I opened it, wouldn't it? <laughs> I have a token. If I try and close, it's not moving at me. Switch the wrong way. Nope. Look at that. First chorus token. Right, I'm going into man mode. Okay. Okay, right, so check, check in to see if my belt is set when it gets to you. Hang on. Bell's working. Try to you. Okay, go for it. We have communications. Right, I'll put my token back in. Okay. Do you get a green? Right. Hold, are you still holding me out? Yeah. <laughs> and just to, just to clarify, I'm holding down the mic. I'll get a second one. Hold me on. 
He's got his in. Right, put yours, put yours back in. Okay, I'm in auto. Green, which I'll send the release to him. It does the sound of this end. Yeah, after 10 seconds. Yeah. So I will stop now so the release gives up. Are your token? Yeah, okay. Is your token back in? My token's in. Right, go to manned mode. I'm a man. Right. Let me get shivers. There we go. Right. And the train entering section is. There we go. You can't get a second one. And we can't get a second one. Samuel, hold your bell key. Right. So Samuel, go into remote mode. Going into remote. Remote. Have that right now. Yeah. In remote and manned. Yeah. Can't get anything. 